All right. I'm going to do a rare video appearance where I'm showing actually myself with my fabulous COVID haircut rather than the animated character. So I'm Gray from CORE. This is what I look like. And if you are running away screaming, that's on you, not necessarily on me. And I'm going to do a quick video about um, an enhancement I made just the other night about the PMD system. PMD means player mining dome, or some people call it personal mining dome, but it's that's PMD is the acronym. And uh, yeah, and down with Steve. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get started. So where am I? Let's see. So I am in my PMD. Okay. So. I got feedback from a couple of people saying that the PMD system is kind of confusing to navigate. So I'm going to give a quick primer on how to navigate it and how to get out and get back to the city, which everybody, all the newbies know the city. But they don't know the whole thing, but they know how to navigate to certain places within the city. And if you go to the PMD system to buy the good stuff, because let me take another step back. So when you're in the city, there's a couple of shops that are available that are run by the company. The company is evil, and so the company shops are going to be overpriced. It is possible, very possible, for player-run shops to undercut the company and still make a profit. And the system was designed expressly for that purpose. So the company has a few shops. We've got, the company has a few things on stock, in stock for various player levels. But if you are, are missing something in the, the city dome or in the northeast merchant dome, which is connected to the city, um, you're going to have to go into the PMD cluster area to, to buy the good stuff. So, for example, let's go into my shop. So I'm in my own PMD, and I've got a weapon shop, and I sell guns, and I sell knives. Okay, so I've got stuff at higher levels that are not available in the company shops run in the city. And there are other players that have different types of shops, pubs, armor shops, retail shops. Um, so there are things that you can buy, and, and the way you get to them is in the PMD system. So how do you navigate around the PMD? So let's talk about it. So when you get inside of a PMD, every PMD is structured exactly the same. And the only difference in terms of the exits that you see, like right here on my screen where I've highlighted, would be um, what upgrades the, the PMD owner has purchased. So by default, there's a mine and you get with the mine, you get the north exit, which is the ore warehouse. So pretty much every PMD will have an ore warehouse. And there will be a northwest exit that is the uh, foreman depot, where if you're high enough level and you have enough credits in your account, you can actually get a contract. That contract is, is good for several hours. And then you can get an ore hauler which is a droid that follows you around. And so you can actually clock yourself out. Your ore is transferred from your ore satchel that's in your inventory to the droid. And that frees up more space in your satchel. So you can keep mining. You can stay down there for as long as you want until your contract runs out. And then you just bring your ore back up. You, you just return back to the depot. You empty the hauler with this, with this command. I don't mean like holler, like yelling. I mean, holler. I should probably say it a little different. <laughs> so I, I, I have a weird accent. So if you, if you've not noticed this already from my prior videos, um, I have lived in multiple places in the United States and I've lived out on the West coast and I, I now live in the Midwest. Um, I lived as far South as Missouri, which is not the deep South, but it's South enough that I can occasionally throw out a y'all and it's authentic. I'm not pretending. It just it just pops out there. Uh, now we live in Iowa. Uh, so when I get on a phone with a customer or a coworker and I start speaking and they're like, where are you from? Because I just, I can't figure this out. Like, 
And yeah, and then of course I have a young sounding voice. So I tell people my true age and they're like, no, no, you're lying. I'm like, no, no, that's that's my age. I'm not lying. Um, I'll just leave it at that. So, <laughs> so anyway, so every PMD has this Foreman Depot. Then if the PMD owner purchases a shop, the shop will be east. And the PMD owner can pick and choose what type of shop that they want. So they have like five or six different choices. You pick one. The PMD owner can also purchase an apartment. Uh, that's to the southwest. Only the PMD owner can access it unless they do an invite. So you can add another player to the list of the people who are allowed to come into your private apartment and what happens in the apartment stays in the apartment. So <laughs> I don't want to know about it. Just keep it private, keep it off of the public channels and everybody's good. And the game is PG-13. So uh, what you do in the private apartment, uh, okay. And then if they purchase the atrium upgrade, that is to the southeast. And there's other things you can buy inside the atrium, which is outside of the scope of this video. But anyway, so these are the exits that you have on what I call the ground floor. So if you're lost, type the word location when you're inside of a PMD. And it says, oh, okay. It tells you the name of the PMD cluster in. It tells you that you're in gray Gray's PMD and you're in the hub. So if I just kind of walk around, it says, oh, now you're in the ore warehouse. I'm in the Foreman Depot. I'm in the atrium. I'm in my quarters. I'm at the mine entrance. Go down into the mine. And then as you start going around inside the mine. So again, navigating the mine, that's a completely different topic. Yeah, somebody, you know, somebody busted my balls the other day. Um, so they, they quit the game and they said, oh, your, your, your game is too custom. Okay, we acknowledge that. We are heavily customized. But they started busting my balls about the fact that they can't type the word north. I'm like, yeah. It's go north or N. I'm like, why does the game that you're used to not have N built in like we have? Because we've had this for 25 years. We've had these commands built in. N or go north has been in here for 25 years. And we did not customize that. That actually came with the, the game that we were that, that we started, that we inherited. So we inherited the Nightmare version 2, and all of those commands were built in. And the fact that you don't know that North can be aliased to be whatever you want, and if you don't know about alias because of the game that you're familiar with that you came from doesn't have this command, and you don't know how to do this, that's on you. That's not on us. Okay? And, and by the way... When you did the documented immigrant quest, which I know you did, it tells you how to move. The documented immigrant quest, which is the first thing you get, and one of the first things that it tells you to do is how to move north. It literally does that. So don't blame me. You didn't read the instructions. Rant over. Okay. <sighs> Am I angry? Oh, maybe a little. <laughs> okay. Oh, and then you can buy the upgrade for the builder area, which is a completely different video that I need to make. Because the builder area is how you as a player can make an area and you can make monsters and you can make a quest. And that, it's all menu driven. You don't have to know a lick of coding. And that's another video. So anyway, so I've just covered the ground floor. So, um... So again, in a fully customized PMD where the owner has bought everything, you will have a hub in the middle. And by the way, um, so only the owner can see these commands. 
but you can see the customer or sorry <laughs> the owner of the PMD can describe what you're seeing on my screen so the owner can put in whatever text they want and the owner can describe how their PMD looks from the outside map I'm gonna go out there real fast I am not not wearing an environment suit so I will die if I um, I will die if I if I don't come back inside real fast. Oops. Um, enter airlock. Okay. I'm outside and I'm about to freeze to death. So this description here. There we go. And I'm and I'm starting to die. And you can see my health is starting to go down. So I'm going to go back inside. But that text to the right of the graphical map the owner of the PMD can, can customize that part. The, the owner cannot uh, customize the part on the left, that, that spherical map, but they can come customize the right to whatever they want. Okay. So fully, so what I'm trying to get at, um, oh, I don't want that. I'm going to use, I'm just going to go ahead. And I sh I sh a regular player, you go into your shower, you take care of that. Northeast is by the way the shower so if you get a mine you get a shower to the northeast that's where you can go you enter the shower and you just type the word shower and that takes your dust away and I think somebody may be listening to me now so anyway so I just covered the ground floor now let's go in the center of the PMD you can go up and in the top level of the of the PMD, you, each PMD starts with, you, so this is another upgrade that you buy. And then you can buy links to neighboring domes. So in the center, you can type the word scan. So again, the center of the upper level, you can type scan, and it's going to tell you who your neighbors are, immediate neighbors. And in my case, I have fully constructed all of my... Um, tubes to the various neighboring domes and I, I now I have this memorized because I live here but I know that if I go north I'm now at the northern link so I'm one north of my center I go north again now I'm in somebody else's PMD so I'm now at mix upper level I'm at his south tube I go north again I type it right now I'm at his hub again I'm now directly above his PMD and I can see that because now I have an exit called down and it again tells me I can scan and I happen to know that the way back to the city is I need to get to the garage so every PMD cluster has a garage, and it's just a matter of, you know, how do you get there, right? So I happen to, again, I have this memorized because I, I'm here every single day. So I am now above the garage. I go down, and now I just have to wait for the, for the rover to arrive. So there will be a rover. It's an automated thing. One minute from the city to the cluster, it waits for passengers and then one minute back to the city, it waits for passengers and the thing repeats over and over. It's completely automated. So if you get to a garage and you don't see a rover, don't panic, it will come. Now, the question will be, so I just told you that I have all this memorized because I, I, I'm in my PMD every single day because I have a run a shop. Um, here we go, the, the rover just arrived. There's the rover. You can see it down here in uh, kind of purple. I can look at the rover. And it says, if I want to board it, I type board. And I do have to type the name of the cluster in lowercase. And yeah, I know, that's a little weird. But the problem is, or the, the what this is trying to resolve is that when we get back to the city, 
the place that we're going to arrive at the at the city could have multiple rovers at, at, at any single time because these clusters are player created. This is not programmed into the game. So if players get together and they decide, hey, we're going to make a new cluster, they can do that. The game will automatically assign them a new cluster designation and they're going to get a rover. And so if there's two or three or four rovers in a garage in the city, hi, you know, board rover, how's it going to know which one you want to board? So you have to type in the, the cluster name. So you can see here, the cluster is just departed um, my PMD garage that I was in. And we're now moving across the planet's surface. And um, the exit is not available. All right, so the, the rover's now closed. I can't get off. I have to wait, just like if you're in a subway or a public bus or whatever, right? So you have to wait for the thing to come to a stop. And it's in this particular case, it's a minute each way. So you only have to wait a minute and it does not matter how far away from the cluster, sorry, it does not matter how far away from the city the cluster is, it's going to be a minute each way. So it tells me, okay, I can exit. It tells you exactly in quotations. It says, you may now exit. And there you go. So now I'm in the city. So now I can go back and, and I can, you know, go to the city dome. Here I am. This is a uh, fork drone. What is it? Who left a fork drone in there? I don't know who left this there. Anyway, so I'm now in the center of the city. I'm going to go back. So there's one other thing that I wanted to demonstrate. Oops, I'm in the south mine. I want to go one north and go down. And... There's a bug, so I need to blow away one of these rovers. Sorry about that. You didn't see that, okay? All right, so I'm back on board the border. Uh, I'm sorry, back on board the rover. I'm going to head back to the city. And I suppose I should check my ob studio. Okay, so I don't see that anybody's chatting to me. So I don't have any questions to answer. Okay, cool. All right. Let's get back to the game here. Let me pull this thing back up. Okay. Yeah, and the next the next game reboot. Next reboot. We'll have, this is the player command, by the way. I'm not being a coder here. Tells me that our next game restart will be on Saturday, uh, 12 minutes after midnight. And uh, if we have any extra rovers in the game, they'll be blown out. The game will start up fresh. So no worries. No worries. Okay. So one last thing that I want to show, and then I'm going to end off this uh, stream and this recording. Okay, coming down, we're back, we're heading back into the garage, we're at the garage. Okay, one final thing. So I have, um, Monday night, I introduced a new command. I informed everybody on Discord about the command, and I believe we may even have it in our... Um, our wiki online, and that is called PMD map. It does not matter where you are in the PMD, except right now it does not work if you're in the mine, and I'm going to fix it. So if you're inside of a PMD mine, this command doesn't work, but I, I know about the problem and, and I know what to do. So if you're on the ground floor or if you're on the upper floor, it does not matter. You type PMD map. It tells you, it gives you a reminder which PMD cluster you're inside. It says, oh, by the way, I might still be tweaking this command. So, you know, what you see may not be the final thing. But what it shows you is like if we were looking down on the PMD cluster from space, um, it's going to... So forget about the size of the PMD. Forget about all the different upgrades and so on that you've purchased. Um, just where are you? Which PMD are you inside? Are you inside the garage? In my case, yes. So if you are not colorblind, you will see that the letter G is in red. And that's, that's where I am. I'm going to go up. 
I'm going to go into mix, do it again, PMD map. So it shows now I'm one south of the garage. I'm now inside of mix PMD. And now his, his color is capitalized, or in red, I'm sorry. I go down south more. Now I'm inside my own PMD. And there it is. Grays is now red. So the way this map works is that it, sh it tries to show in crappy, <laughs> I'm sorry, crappy ASCII art, it tries to show representation of the cluster. So depending on which cluster you're inside, it will be wider or slimmer than what you see here. So in this case, we have four wide and five tall. Um, other clusters are shaped differently. It, it totally depends on what the players have done. And then, so it shows little characters on the left-hand side. So a dot or a period. Punto, if you're Spanish. <laughs> Hispanic. I, I don't do social justice stuff, so don't break my balls over that. I don't care. So period symbol means nothing there. M, lowercase m, as in Mike, stands for a mothballed dome, meaning that the owner has not logged in for a long time, they haven't paid their maintenance upkeep, and now their, their PMD is essentially shut down until such time as the owner decides to log back into the game and, and pay up their maintenance fee. P, as in Paul, is an active, available PMD, and it might even have a shop. And then G, capital G, is the cluster garage. I'm going to change it so that instead of it naming the cluster, I want it to I want this part of the thing to say the word garage where I've highlighted. So left to right. So basically let's take a look at this thing here. So in the second row, we have a dot, which means nothing's there. We have a mothball dome and we have two available domes. To the right, it says okay. The first one is owned by this person. The second one is no, owned by Nigel the Nigelian. And the third is Nigel's test character. So it's basically left to right. Third row, we have four things, and all four spots are occupied. So this is how you read the thing. The next row down, Steve Tex and Mick. And finally, my row. There's a mothballed guy to the west of me, and then there's me. And so there's extra spe spots available. And again, so you're on the top level, you go down, and it does not matter where you are inside of the PMD, you can type PMD map, and as long as you're not inside of the mining level, you will get this display. So I hope this video was helpful. I'm going to close this thing off and... Um, and we'll see what kind of feedback I get. All right. Thanks, everybody.